what the angels want you to know for the week beginning April 19th, 2021. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 19th, 2021. So this is a week where I'm I'm feeling like there's still a, a battle going on here, okay? Now, we might be coming to peace with it, but it has this feeling of like a battle comes up, and you're starting to see exactly how you respond to it differently. So you are seeing some growth here. And hopefully there isn't resistance. Some of you are (laughs) experiencing resistance around whatever is coming up or not wanting to let something go. Or you are just so in your, um, especially with love, like a love narrative. You know, this is the one, this is the one for me, blah, 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 blah. I mean, someone who is going to show up for you, you're not going to stress about it. You know what I'm saying? Not that there aren't stressful moments in a relationship. Of course there are. But what I'm saying is, is if you're not with that person, and you're stressing about, are they gonna come back? Are they gonna love me? You know, whatever. Um, They're saying, don't do that to yourself. The kind of love that's right for you will be there with you. You're not gonna miss out on a soul partner, okay? If that is exactly what's in your soul contract. So just, uh, the reason why I'm bringing that up is I feel like there's so much like, people are torturing themselves, like torturing themselves over, I should have done this, I should have done that, blah, blah. Now, again, if you feel like you need to reach out to somebody, I guess, you know, you feel that out for yourself, go ahead and do that. But that's a definitely a message that's popping in here again. And that's going to be a, a message that's popping up quite a bit because we're in this, um, we're trying to transcend here, <laughs> right? So we're in these lesson kind of moments where souls are coming together to experience that. So, just be aware of that, aware of your patterns and aware of uh, what's causing you pain. What's dragging you down? What is distracting you from your day-to-day work? If you have somebody who just feels like they're just always there, I mean, you got to look at that. What What does that mean? Does that mean you're coming back together? Does it mean it's time to have that conversation? You know, whatever it is, it's going to differ for everybody. But a lot of everybody else here going on, there's a lot of just the clearing and getting back to basics and just finding the true beauty in your existence, whatever that is for you. And coming to peace, releasing the anger, release the judgment and and being critical of others. Do you find that you just have to nitpick at people? I get that all the time on my videos. Nitpicking, nitpicking, nitpicking. Why? What do you care? If you don't like it, you move on to another video. (laughs) It's just, it just is what it is. But Where do you find yourself doing that and ask yourself, why do I feel the need to come in and, you know, do I just feel powerful behind a keyboard? Do I think that person is a soft target? Um, You know, whatever it is. So we're still figuring things out. We will be for a very long time. Okay. We're not out of our lessons. (laughs) So let's see what the cards have to tell us. one clear the clutter selenite yep see i told you (laughs) so we're clearing away um the cords the things that pull us down the things that steal our joy now this is kind of tricky because again we start to maybe victimize ourselves i shared a couple of weeks ago that i'm learning kind of like where i've only seeing the other person's part in it in a situation and I didn't look at my own (laughs) having to take accountability but when we're getting ready to clear the clutter it's very easy to go you know what I'm gonna get those toxic people out of my life and you know we're not looking at the whole situation we're just looking at what we perceive as somebody else having done to us right so this is actually a very angelic communication kind of crystal as well so the clearer we are the more we can perceive our angels and angelic messages now i did have somebody ask me to do a video on angelic communication please check out my video playlist on spiritual how to's and i also have a whole course about angelic communication over at Gumroad. It is gumroad.com slash angel souls. Okay. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. What's this one? 
turquoise prioritize your health this is also about being in a peaceful grounded place this is not the time to get involved in drama this is not the time to tolerate people gossiping this is not the time to you still want to be setting your strong boundaries here because i get a feeling like um some people who are very affected by gossip maybe someone was gossiping about you and there are a lot of things that just simply are not true it's just gossip and it's trying to steal your peace so maybe you're having to set a boundary and say excuse me that's not it but you're not engaging in the gossip okay i feel like some people need to hear that but this is about the free flow what makes you feel like you are well mm, that's a big one if you don't feel well about a situation or an environment or a relationship and go on and on and on then you you need to look at why you need to look at why and make different choices you can love someone very very deeply but if they're coming and pulling on your energy you need to look at what the lesson is behind that you could love your work and say i, I like the work i just don't like you know that i come in every day and there's always you know office politics or um there's industry politics where you know certain people are getting ahead in unscrupulous ways and i've definitely seen that uh <laughs> but you know whatever it is that might cause jealousy and resentment which drags you down okay this is asking for us to step outside of other people's choices even if their choices are so big and sloppy that <laughs> the energy of it seeps over our energy and starts to affect us learn to transmute learn to transmute and that's very archangel zadkiel kind of energy um saint germain kind of energy violet flame all of that all right how many did i get already just two just two okay smoky quartz let it go i'm telling you what clear the clutter prioritize your health let it go this it's not worth your sanity <laughs> I feel like I <laughs> can't wait to see what this is going to be about, but it's not worth sacrificing your sanity uh, over drama, over, you know, some people really love the excitement of the drama around anything. Okay. Like they might even go out there and pick a fight with people because they love watching people get all worked up and, you know, it's like they're trying to create their own movie and you don't have to participate in that let it go walk away say no <laughs> say no and they're saying watch energetic intrusion say no to the energetic intrusions because there might be a bit of that going on too all right here we go malachi it's time to transform we got more of the same it's time to heal it's time to release it's time to get on with it okay <laughs> all these old situations they really need to get transformed here guys all right so let's get a couple more cards here our buddy archangel michael let's see what he's saying <laughs> there's one your inner guidance is real and trustworthy please help me clearly hear see feel and know the divine guidance that i have asked and prayed for allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me so trusting your instincts your intuition the messages that are coming through and it's kind of interesting that this woman is holding a book i don't i don't know if that's relevant for someone out there yeah just see if that sparks anything for you in your intuition around book learning teaching you know this writing could be around that as well but yeah you're not wrong about what is coming up but you're asked to you know go a little bit deeper go a little bit deeper about what's coming up for you don't just skip along the surface. Oh, there was a card that, wow, well, I lost it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I felt like there was a card about to pop out, but it went back in. There's this one. Okay. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Yeah, and this feels like it has a lot to do with like i think we had innocence what when was that last week the week before i don't know but um there are some things that you're allowing the blame to come down on you and yes you want to take your accountability seriously and 
you know, whatever your part in it was. But where are other people trying to make you feel like you've done something wrong because you made a choice for you? I mean, I've had situations where, you know, people felt abandoned because I made a choice that was good for me because I needed to heal or I needed to whatever. And they were just all about their own story and treating people like they're an accessory to their life. And no one's allowed to go off and do... That's what I'm talking about here. If someone's making you feel guilty for protecting yourself or for doing what's right for you, what are their intentions? Okay, you gotta look at that. You definitely gotta look at, um, you know, how, how are they trying to feed off of you, right? Okay, let's get a color card here. Hi! <laughs> Okay, so here is bronze. Strengthen your body. The number is 14. Reduces to five. That's the number of change. So again, it's all about your health. It's all about clearing. It's all about, you know, be in your own skin. Be at home within your own skin. Don't be susceptible to a romantic story or to a career goal or something that really makes you step outside. Sometimes in, in some cases outside of your morals just because you think that that's making it uh -uh. Uh -uh. come on back within strengthen your body be at home within you all right and as realizations come up you can process them flow through them you'll come on out the other side but you need to make sure that you are healthy what was what were the other cards here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so we have malachi which is about healing this actually says it's time to transform but it's about healing let it go and prioritize your health. I knew it. <laughs> I thought I remembered the card that I just pulled. Um, so these two go very much hand in hand. So make sure you're just watching out for yourself. Uh, cut off any energetic drains. <laughs> it's not your problem. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.